Despite the fact there's a shortage of masks for healthcare professionals, we continue to see more people walking around wearing them. Some are even turning to do-it-yourself masks. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasha looks at that in his nightly coronavirus myth report. We need to unmask the myths involving certain kinds of homemade masks. Here's the myth. A mask made of paper towels can protect you from COVID-19. The homemade paper towel mask myth started in Australia, where reports on social media about using toilet paper to create a mask started to run on toilet tissue. That morphed into panic buying of toilet paper worldwide as people created a shortage. Now, the internet is at it again, filled with videos like this, showing how to use paper towels and some elastic bands to create a do-it-yourself paper mask. But how effective is that mask? Not very. A test conducted by Smart Air, they're a company which makes air purifiers, found a single layer of paper towels captured just 23% of particles similar in size to the COVID-19 virus. And when you double the layering of paper towels, it only increased the capture effectiveness to 33%. In another myth segment, we told you that an infectious disease specialist with the University of Texas Health Science Center said, wearing a mask when you are not sick essentially gives you a false sense of confidence that you don't need to wash your hands as often or not touch your face as much. Add to that the homemade paper towel mask won't fit tight enough to prevent leakage and you can see the ineffectiveness of paper towels as mask material. It's not something you want to bet your life on. So let's just trash the paper towel mask idea. Other studies have been done on the effectiveness of do-it-yourself cloth masks, and the result on them has been mixed. Right now, the guidance from the CDC, the World Health Organization, and others is don't wear a mask unless you are contagious so you can help protect others from your infection. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprachan.